Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Wednesday, coming at you with a four box random player break number six break of 2020 Gold Rush autographed uh, baseball helmets, which are pretty cool. You can play some rounds of Who Am I as well. Right here on the 15th, Jackie Robinson Day, Tax Day. It's not Tax Day anymore, they moved it, but would have been Tax Day. Big thanks to all of these folks right here. So one spot gets you two teams, so let's double you up. And you saw in the product description, we've got the whole list of players right there. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize it. Uh, six and a four, ten times for each list. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. Six and a four, ten times, ten times. James down to Jeff. So six and a four, ten times for the players. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tenth and final time. Jim Edmonds down to Ozzy Smith. All right, so I'm not going to read off all these names, but I'll just show you the list as is, and then I will alphabetize by your uh, first names. All right, so Aaron, there's yours, Adam, Charles, James, uh, James B, James R, Jeff, Jody, John, Josh. Nicholas, uh, Rick, Roy, Spencer, Tyler, William, and, and William. There you go. So I'm going to uh, pause the video, bring in the case and get myself set up. And while you're thinking about that, let me know if you need to see your players again. Let me know if there's any trade. When we come back, we'll see if we got all that. Stick around. I'll BRB. All right, welcome back, everybody. There were no trades. That list you saw on the previous screen remains the same. So there's the case right here. So let's pop it open. play four quick rounds of Who Am I? America's favorite game where I give you the clues and for bragging rights you can figure out try to figure out who that person may be in here. Alright, Who Am I? All right, who am I? I am a former baseball player. Played for one team my entire career. Um, you know, I used to be... Uh, I, I'm a convicted felon. I'm a convicted felon who uh, got on work release from a California prison to play baseball, to get invited to spring training by this particular team, the one team I played for my entire career. Um, I had a lot of control issues early in my career. And then uh, after, after getting uh, glasses, he was able to pitch uh, much better, actually. And then played, uh, and then led my team to the AL and AL East uh, one-game playoff back in the day, which is pretty crazy. Not a lot of felons that get out of there. <laughs> yep, John X line, 
Logan, Stephen K's got it. It's Wild Thing, Ricky Vaughn. Uh, and then that's William Hawkins with the Charlie Sheen spot. Oh, this is a nice helmet, too. So there's Charlie Sheen's autograph. Right there. There's the JSA right there. This is a, a nice, decent looking helmet right here. Got the Rawlings logo inside and everything too. On field equipment. That's pretty nice. So William, there you go, Charlie Sheen. There's the JSA card inside there too. All right, next one. Uh, yeah, DFS, yeah, that, oh, was that real tiger blood? Yeah, it was, there was real tiger blood on there. I could, I could sense it. Speaking of tigers, I finally watched Tiger King over the weekend. What a wild show. It was not what I expected at all. All right. This one's a real baseball player. Who am I? Former baseball player, former closer, lefty closer. Played for one, two, three, four, five teams my entire career. Three-time All-Star, two-time World Series champion. AL Cy Young Award. I mean, back-to-back -back real real-life players. Excellent, you're right. AL Cy Young Award winner, two-time AL Saves leader. Who am I? Had a 238 saves my entire career, 873 strikeouts, a 288 ERA, and a 99 and 76 win loss record. This was back in the day when uh, when like closers would pitch like three four innings at the back end of a game, two to four innings in the back end of a game. Uh, yeah, Jeff Peace has got it indeed. Played for the Red Sox, Yankees, Rangers, Phillies. And White Sox, it is indeed Sparky Lyle. In his Yankees helmet, there's the JSA right here. There's a Sparky Lyle auto. So as opposed to the previous helmet, this one's a little more, a little more toy-like, but... There you go. Nice. Right. He, you know what? He was indeed a practical joker. He's got a whole Wikipedia section dedicated to clubhouse antics. Everything from, uh, everything from putting his bottom side into cake to the standard uh, hot foot. It's pretty, pretty good stuff. It's, wor it's worth a read. Ladies and gentlemen, it's worth a read. Take a look at Sparky Lyle's Wikipedia. Check out his uh, his clubhouse antics section. So Charles Byrne. We'll get the Sparky Lyle. A 
couple more to go. I guess this break brought to you by Uline. Who am I? Johnny Cannon, what's up? Did I say hi to Johnny Cannon? Hi, Johnny Cannon, again, maybe. All right, who am I? Retired baseball player. Played for one team my entire career. A starting pitcher, a right-hander. Um, lifetime 268 and 152. 2.86 lifetime ERA. Six-time All-Star, three-time World Series champion, three-time AL Cy Young Award winner, four-time uh, Gold Glove Award winner, a three-time AL wins leader, a two-time AL ERA leader. My number's retired by this team. I'm in this team's Hall of Fame, and I'm in the Baseball Hall of Fame. First ballot Hall of Famer uh, back in the early 90s got in with 92.6% of the vote. And I played from uh, I pl I played from sixty six to eighty four, nineteen sixty nine sorry nineteen sixty five to nineteen eighty four. Man, that's a lot of a lot happened in that in that span of time. Currently seventy four years old. What do I do now? What am I doing now? Am I in? Made a return. I did broadcasting for a while. I don't know if I'm still doing that. But um, who am I? No, only uh, not Koufax, not Maddox, not Smoltz, not Raleigh Fingers. Raleigh Fingers did not have 2,212 strikeouts. At least I don't think so. Rick's got it. Yep. Jim Palmer. Orioles great Jim Palmer. I think Stephen K just got it too. Yeah, nice. I always, I always liked how the Orioles had those two-tone hats and helmets. Always, always, always looked, always looked pretty, pretty good. Or like the, the panel in the front. I always like the different white panel in the front they used to have. They still have. It's pretty good. I don't know how many teams do the do the, the different colored panel on the front of the hat. All right. Jim Palmer, that'll go to James. James Bellarde with that. All right, one more to go. And the final one. All right, who am I? The final round of who am I for bragging rights? Sub Arthur. Another retired baseball player, currently 51 years old, a righty, played for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight teams my entire career, a nine-time All-Star, a World Series champion, a five-time Silver Slugger, and an NL batting champion in the early 90s. Lifetime 292, 2,689 hits, 
1,676 runs batted in 509 home runs. I wonder, should... He's a nephew of Dwight Gooden, by the way. Is he a Hall of Famer? Well, no. I guess he was mentioned in the Mitchell Report and implicated in the 2004 Balco scandal with respect to the use of performance-enhancing drugs, so maybe that's what's going to hold him back from being a Hall of Famer. I'm sure some people of a particular generation who watch this guy play definitely, definitely emulated his batting stance. Um, yeah, Tyler Brenner got it first. It's uh, Gary Sheffield. Yep, Stephen K. DFS has got it. X-Line's got it now. There, he's got a nice auto, too, in his Dodgers helmet. There's the JSA right there. There should be a sticker on the back there. There's the corresponding sticker. Nice autograph, nice helmet for... That's William Hawkins with a second helmet. He got the uh, Ricky Vaughn helmet, and now he has the Gary Sheffield helmet. So congrats to you, William. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. There's another one up in the store if you want to keep chasing these helmets. So check it out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time for that one. Bye-bye.